Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the Bedlington Terrier. Before we begin, please remember to like and share our video if you find it useful. Please subscribe to receive notifications when we publish new dog-related content. Bedlington Terrier Bedlington Terrier was developed in and named after the mining town of Bedlington in the country of Northumberland, England. About 1825 the breed was renamed the Bedlington Terrier after the Bedlington Mining Shire. The breed was a prized hunting dog of foxes, hares and badgers. It was also used as a vermin hunter by the miners of Bedlington. The miners exploited its gameness as a fighting dog in the pits and hunters used them as retrievers. The breed may have derived from the Otterhound and Dandy Dinmont Terrier. Some breeders, particularly those in England will cross Bedlington with Whippets and Greyhounds to produce lurchers. As always, the pros are up first. Low shedding, since their curly coats are a mixture of soft and harsh hair, Bedlington don't shed that much. They are highly adaptable small dogs that make wonderful companion and family pets. They are better suited to families with older children. With a Bedlington, you get the same lovable personality traits that are inherent in other types of terriers but with a less rowdy energy level. They are renowned for being wonderful companions for older people. They tend to be calmer than other terriers when indoors. Since Bedlingtons are typically between 17 and 23 pounds, they are able to thrive in a number of different living situations. Adapts well to apartment living, will need frequent outdoor exercise comfortable in both hot and cold climates. Good watchdog abilities. They are better suited to families with older children. Now it's time for some cons. They need to be given the right amount of daily physical exercise and mental stimulation. Grooming, while their coats virtually don't shed, they do grow quickly. Most Bedlingtons need to be professionally clipped once every two months. Their coat needs to be brushed or combed at least twice a week. While Bedlingtons are smart and eager to please, they do tend to have that stubborn terrier streak. They can bark a lot, like many terriers do. They are known to like the sound of their own voices. Very high prey drive, will instinctively chase small animals. Bedlingtons are very good diggers which means gardens must be made very secure. They suffer from separation anxiety when left on their own. Interesting facts. Bedlingtons have also been known as Rothbury Terriers, Rothbury Lambs, Gypsy Dogs, and Linty Dogs. Today they are known as Bettys. The first ever Bedlington was called Piper and was said to still be hunting at the grand age of 14, despite being nearly blind and toothless. Bedlingtons used to be known as Gypsy Dogs as they were sued by Romanies for poaching. Appearance, this purebred has a double-coated fur that's made up of hard and soft hair. It has a Linty, crisp texture, and its coat gives the dog a rugged and shaggy appearance. They are 15 to 17.5 inches tall at the point between their shoulder blades, and weigh 17 to 23 pounds. Puppies usually reach these full-grown measurements by the time they're 10 to 11 months old. The accepted colors for a Bedlingtons are blue, blue with tan points, liver, liver with tan points, and sandy. A blue Bedlington Terrier isn't literally blue. Blue Bedlingtons are a soft, ethereal gray. They are born with a graying gene where they first have a darker coat that lightens as they age. Bedlingtons have an average life expectancy of 11 to 16 years. Shedding and Grooming Unlike other long-haired dog breeds, the Bedlington is among hypoallergenic and non-shedding breeds. But to keep that coat in tip-top shape, a brush once or twice a week is needed. Their coat needs to be clipped every 6 to 8 weeks to keep it looking fresh and in good condition. Visiting the groomer for a professional cut every 6 to 8 weeks is sufficient, too. Shave the ears, leaving a tassel on the tips. The point of the cut is to emphasize the lamb shape. You should also clean your dog's ears once a week, wiping the muck away with the cotton wool. This breed shouldn't bathe too often, or the fur will lank. Length fur isn't considered appropriate for the breed. Every four to six weeks should suffice. Cost Bedlington Terrier puppies cost about $1,500 to $1,800 from a reputed breeder. 
some breeders may charge more for a Bedlington Terrier with top breed lines and a superior pedigree. The cost to adopt a Bedlington is around $300 in order to cover the expenses of caring for the dog before adoption. The average price of a Bedlington puppy in India is around 30,000 to 60,000 rupees. It varies due to the breeder's reputation, location, and the dog's pedigree, age, and gender. Exercise and trainability. Despite being quite small by dog standards, they need at least an hour or two of exercise every day. This could be a mix of walking on a leash, running off leash in a safe, enclosed environment, or playing games in the backyard. They are also quick learners, many Betty owners like to take part in dog sports such as earth dog or agility trials. These provide both physical and mental stimulation, which can help prevent Bedlingtons performing unwanted or destructive behaviors around the home. They can also be sensitive souls, who quickly lose faith in people who punish or mistreat them. They may be difficult to engage in training, and to motivate to perform behaviors on command. Frequent, short, fast-paced training games will keep your Betty engaged and provide mental stimulation. Intelligence According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Corrin, Bedlington Terrier is ranked 40. Understanding of new commands 25 to 40 repetitions and obeys first command 50% of the time or better. Swimming Bedlington may not be true water dogs but they are powerful swimmers and will not mind being in the water. Though that doesn't mean they will readily jump into the water. It's just that water will not deter them from catching their prey. Barking Bedlington don't bark a lot but do expect some noise. They have a moderate tendency to bark. Compared to most other dog breeds, the Bedlington Terriers barks occasionally. Weather and Climate This breed prefers colder and milder climates than hot ones. They have better tolerance to the cold, and they need to live indoors in a safely enclosed area. Its coat is thick and curly, but can easily be trimmed in the summer to help keep the dog cool. Owners in hot areas should be careful with exercising, though, as the breed loves to run around and can overheat. Friendliness Bedlingtons make wonderful playmates to children, as their peerless energy can find a match in them. But keep a close watch when your Fido is around younger children because it can accidentally bump them over. Bedlingtons get along with other dogs, especially if they've been raised with them, although they can be violent towards dogs of the same gender. Like most terrier breeds, they might not start a fight, but they won't back down from one. When provoked, Bedlingtons can be vicious fighters, so employ caution when introducing them to new canine friends. They may learn to live with cats but will likely chase small animals such as rats, mice, and hamsters. Adaptability These canines are an excellent choice for large homeowners and apartment dwellers. They are not recommended for first-time owners as they require a lot of attention from their owners. Most Bedlingtons can stay home alone for 4 to 6 hours per day. Guard slash watch dog, Bedlington are good guard dogs. This dog breed doesn't hesitate to protect their family and territory. They bark a lot and make a good watchdog as it is suspicious of strangers. Aggression in adult Bedlington depends on how a particular dog is raised. Early socialization and training can either control or promote aggression. Drooling, Bedlingtons are known to have the lowest drooling tendency. These adorable puppies usually don't drool at all. Health issues. The most common health issue Bedlingtons have is copper toxicosis. This means that instead of copper being metabolized, it gets stored inside the liver and when there is too much, the liver fails which in turn, slowly causes the death of the dog. They can also have eye problems such as cataract and retinal dysplasia, as well as kidney and thyroid problems. Around 1 in 6 Bedlingtons are estimated to have some degree of hip dysplasia. Luxating patellas, knee joints which slip loosely out of position, and need surgery to correct. Do you already have a Bedlington? Tell us about them in the comment box down below. What kind of owner would you recommend them to? Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the future video.